What if I told you that you have the ability to become a professional video editor starting today for free? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Well, that's where CapCut comes in. Now, as a professional video editor myself, I understand that a lot of us are torn between Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, but I really do think that CapCut needs to enter the discussion. Now, let me tell you why. First of all, it's free, which eliminates any barrier to entry that you can think of, which also leads me to my next point. It's made for all platforms, which means as long as you have a smartphone, a tablet, a desktop, or a laptop, you're able to download the app and edit any video you want for free. Now, another reason that I've been recommending this to everybody because it has everything you need in that platform. So your music, transitions, filters, color grading, lower thirds, templates, whatever you need, it can be done on that platform, which means it allows your creativity to just stay focused there. You don't have to go to different websites and different platforms to get different things that you need. You have everything there for you so you can invest all your time in the video edit that you're doing. One of the other great reasons I think CapCut is a great editor for about 99% of people is because of the templates. So if you have no editing background, you've never edited before, you're able to go onto the templates uh, portion of the app and look through different templates that other creators have made. And then all you have to do is input your videos or your photos and it auto generates for you a video edit that you can use and makes you look like a professional video editor. Again, I've been suggesting this to so many business owners, entrepreneurs, small business owners, brand developers, people who want to get content out quick because CapCut allows you to do that quick, easy, and you're still putting out high quality content every single day. Now, CapCut is something that I've been using for the last year. It's actually something I've been paying for since Black Friday last year because they were running a sale and I thought, hey, let me give it a shot. And to be 100% honest with y'all, I use about 50 or 60% of the free stuff and about 40% of the paid stuff. So if you want to be an editor, you don't need the paid version. You can use a free version and then there's so many things that you can do on there that will allow you to start creating a revenue off of this. So again, you can market yourself as a video editor where people could send you content and you edit it if that's something you like to do. Or you can go on your phone and film things for different brands, companies, of restaurants, all this different type of stuff and either make videos for them and charge them or you can just become a content creator, film stuff on your phone and edit it on CapCut like so many people I know do. So again, this is one reason why I've been recommending it to so many people because I see a lot of my friends or even people who I've influenced into saying, hey, just download it and give, you, give it a try, making a business off of this. So I know if they can do it, you can do it as well. Now, don't get me wrong, Premiere Pro is still awesome, especially for your professional level or if you want to get into professional level editing. That's something you need to know because so many businesses, company and even small uh, groups need you to learn this because that's where they run a lot of their editing through. But like I said, Premiere Pro to me has a lot of hiccups. Now, if you get the Adobe Cloud, I think that's where it sets Premiere Pro apart from CapCut because with the Adobe Cloud, you're allowed to have, you know, After Effects, uh, Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, so many different things that you could then explore more creative portions for your business if that's what you want. Um, that's where to me, Premiere Pro comes up way more than CapCut. Also, one of the other things I love about Premiere Pro, and this is like an analogy I've been telling people, you know, to me, uh, CapCut is like an automatic, right? You're able to just kind of like cruise and you're good. You don't really have to worry about shifting gears or anything like that. But Premiere Pro is kind of like standard, right? You, you can go crazy with it. You can customize it. You can have a lot of fun with it. You can go balls to the wall if you want. You can run through things like Premiere Pro. If your computer can handle it and you have the capability and you download all the stuff and pay for the stuff, you can build it out to be like an editing beast. And that's where it goes above CapCut if you want to go that level. But if you're somebody who's new, if you're somebody who has probably zero knowledge of editing or maybe you know how to edit but you want to get editing done quicker faster like i said for social media for podcasts for reels for youtube shorts all that kind of stuff CapCut even has a, an area that you can go to where you plug in your long form videos and it will edit everything for you into short form videos and categorize it for you as well 
Now, after saying all that, if I had the option on which one I would choose between Premiere Pro or CapCut, and if I'm just paying for one of those two, I would 100% choose CapCut because to me, it takes away all the worry as a creative of what you're gonna put, where you're gonna get it from, what kind of music you're gonna use, what kind of uh, sound effects you need, all that kind of stuff. It eliminates everything for you and has it on that platform. And to me, as a creative, going through the creative process, since that eliminates so much of the digging and so much of the of the noise that comes across as a creative to just stay on that platform and not have to leave it and have everything there for you to me this is why i would choose CapCut over premiere pro but this is why i also recommend CapCut over premiere pro if so when i cut through the fourth wall and show you all that i'm editing this entire video on CapCut. so the music you hear the lower thirds the transitions the the tracking on everything all of that has been edited on CapCut, and it took me literally not that long so again if y'all want to see a full CapCut tutorial comment that below and i would definitely make one for y'all if you're somebody who only has a tablet only has a phone only has a desktop you're still able to edit you're still able to let your creativity flow if you're someone who is on the go and, you, and you're a running gun editor and you're like shooting things all the time and having to post things right away again CapCut is awesome for you um, one of the things that I have been offering to a lot of my clients, especially when it comes to events and different things like that is an edit, maybe a few hours after the event that you can post and you can show that is high quality. And I will literally just have everything on, throw everything onto my phone and start every editing, everything on CapCut, color grade, sound, everything you need to do on a video, and then just send it to them and have done everything without even having to be in my office editing at my desk again to me if you're new if you're even a pro and you just want to get editing done way faster you need CapCut. and if you're just going to be using it for home stuff fun stuff just capturing memories again it's really good because it has an editor there for you if you want to make vlogs and all that kind of stuff so i know they've come out with a lot more ai features and just so many other things that if you guys want me to do more in-depth editing for, I can. So let me know if you want that on the comment below. But CapCut has been doing so many great things and it looks like they have a lot of greater things ahead for creatives in the future. So stay tuned and keep a lookout. Until next time, catch on the flip side. Peace out.